Okay, we're going to read Animal Census Sight. How does this critter seem? This book was written by Frankie Wright. Animal Census Sight. Let's see what we're gonna learn. I think we're gonna learn a lot about how animals see. Let's see. Animal senses, sight. Let's see what we learn. How do animals see the world around them? Animals use their, their sense of sight to look for food and stay safe. That's interesting. So we just learned that animals use their sense of sight to look, to look for food and stay safe. So animals look for, use their eyes to look for food. Leopard, with these eyes, this big cat can hunt in total darkness. <gasps> so a leopard, this is so cool, so a leopard can use his eyes to see in the dark. When it's completely dark, a leopard can see in the dark. This leopard right here, one this. That's a leopard. Tarsier, this animal's eyes are so big, they weigh more than its brain. Chameleon, look, let's learn about the chameleon. The chameleon, one eye looks for food, the other scouts for friend or foe. <gasps> so we learned that the leopard can hunt in the darkness. So the, the leopard's eyes help it hunt, hunt in the darkness. Then the chameleon, one eye looks for food, the other scouts for friend or foe. Look, look at all these animals. All these animals use their sense of sight, their eyes to hunt and to look. Look at all these animals, the leopards, chameleon, the tarsier, all these animals. Let's see what other, let's see. The chameleon is right here, right here. The chameleon is right over here. The chameleon has so many different colors. Let's see what else we learn. Let's see what else we, we're gonna learn. Okay. But it's a leopard. Yeah, but it's a leopard. Let's see. The leopard's here. Let's let's see what else we learn. Let's see. Snow the snowy owl. A snowy owl. Open wings, stretch five feet. That's about as wide as a bathtub is long. An owl's eyes see the ground clearly as it flies. <gasps> so an owl, when the owl flies high in the sky, it could see the, the ground very clearly. So the owl can see, can see the ground very clearly. So an owl is high up in the air, and when it's high, and when it's high up in the air, it could see, it could see the ground. It could see all the way down. So that's about as wide as a bathtub is long. And now his eyes see the ground clearly as it flies and it can see far away. So an owl can see far, far away. It could see very far away. An, an, uh, yeah, we, an owl can see far, far away. That's a snow and the and the hold on. And owl's eyes can see the ground clearly as it flies, and they can see far away. Large eyes help owls see at night. So the, their large eyes help the owls see at night. Can we see at night? Uh, can we see at night? No. But owls can see at night. That's when most owls. That's when most owls look for food. So, the, so the so the eyes of the owl help it look. Can help it see the ground clearly when it's flying high up in the sky, and it also helps 
the owl hunt at night. So this is the yes, this is the snow owl. Yes. Yes, it, yes it is. Yes. Yes, let's see. Let's learn about the camellia next. The camellia, this lizard can turn its eyes so they work together or look different directions. <gasps> so the chameleon's eyes can both look in the same direction or the chameleon's eyes could look different directions. One eye could look left, the other eye could look right. So the chameleon's eyes could look at two different directions. Like a camera, the eyes can make something look large, larger. The chameleon looks around for food, usually an insect, before it catches it with its tongue. <gasps> so its eyes can look different directions like a camera the eyes can make something look larger so the chameleon's eyes can look two different directions and also the same direction. and also the same direction or two different directions they have you two the chameleon is a lizard yes it says the, this lizard, yes, it's, it's a lizard. It looks like a lizard or like an alien. Let's see the leopard. A leopard might say, I can see you, but you can't see me. Leopard spots hide them in thick bushes. Their large eyes see well at night. When they stalk their prey without making a sound so the leopard's eyes so the leopard's eyes so the leopard's eyes help it see at night the leopard's eyes help the leopard see when it's very dark at night yeah so it helps the yeah the leopard it helps the leopard see at night Yeah. <gasps> Let's learn about the dragonfly. A dragonfly has eyes made of thousands of tiny parts. <gasps> so the dragonfly has eyes made of thousands of tiny parts. Each part points in a different direction and creates an all-round color picture. It can see you when it flies toward you. It can see you when it flies away too. Oh, look at the dragonfly. Where is Ava? That looks so weird. Yeah, this is a dragonfly. Where is Ava? They have YouTube on them. Mm, he has many. They have YouTube. Yes, yeah, so let's see the next animal. The dragonfly looks ginormous. The zebra. Zebras gaze with their heads down, eating grasses. They have eyes on the sides of their heads. So they have, the zebra has eyes on the sides of their heads. They can keep a look at for lions as they eat. So as they eat, as the zebra eats, it, could, it can see if a lion is approaching. Zebra stripes may all look the same to us, but a baby zebra can pick out its mother in a crowd because of its stripes. So in the zebra, its eyes are in the sides of their heads. And while the zebra eats, it can see if a lion is approaching. If it's coming. If a lion is coming. Let's find out more. An owl cannot move its eyes the way a human can, but it can twist its neck around to 
around to see behind it. <gasps> so isn't that cool? So, so an owl's eyes do not move the same way our eyes, our eyes move, but the owl can twist its neck to see behind it. Chameleons can see a small, can be as small as an inch to as long as two feet. They can change their color and their spots. They have long sticky tongues to catch food. So chameleons have long sticky tongues to catch food. The pupil. Chameleon mm -hmm. Uh-huh. The pupil of the leopard's eyes opens very wide to let in more light. A leopard sees up to eight times better than we can at night. So a leopard can see eight times better than we can. So that means leopards can see very well when it's dark. A dragonfly sees things in small motion, which helps it see the tiniest movement of the insects it likes to eat. You've probably never seen a tarsier. The tarsiers live in islands in the South Pacific and is shy. It stays away from people. Mm. 10 minutes after a zebra is born, it can stand. In an hour, it can walk around. It spends a year besides its mother, learning how to survive. So look, we learned so many, so much information about all these animals. And all these animals see in different ways. And they do not see in the same ways that we do.